just the right kind of love so heavenly with beautiful fragrance just the right kind of love that God is showering upon some of you this season it's so heavenly it has got a very beautiful fragrance do you feel it? do you see it? are you into it? God is not a liar let all man be alive and let God be true. The Lord is signaling the spirit right now that most of you are experiencing heavenly bliss in your life, in your romantic life, in your love. <laughs> What's that matter, please? <laughs> Our God is, is a God of humor. Hallelujah. Yes. Something beautiful is happening in someone's life this moment. If you've not had it yet, you better settle down and reflect on it. You better settle down and listen to your heart. Listen to the spirit of God around you. Listen to what is going on around you. Be attentive to what is going on around you. There is love in the atmosphere for somebody. There is beauty in the atmosphere for somebody. There is light in the atmosphere for somebody. And all of these are tilting towards the blissfulness of God in your life. Love was that some of you have entered into a very special, spiritual, wonderful relationship. And love is in the air. It's your time to enjoy. Glory to God. It is your time to enjoy. If you're with your spouse, God is in increasing love between both of you. If you live with your kingdom spouse, the right one is coming to give the right love that you, you deserve. If you if you've broken up, I'm seeing you coming back to give each other the right kind of love that you both deserve. God has been speaking. He's been saying that you're being admired by your significant other or you're admiring someone and you are saying to yourself oh wow this is great this is god this is god yes this is god in somebody this is god in you reflecting both of you are reflecting god right now god is having pleasure between both of you right now god is seeing both of you right now god takes delight in both of you right now and that is the reason why somebody will see you the way you see them. That's why someone's going to compliment you. That's why someone is going to be so completely compatible with you. There, is, there shall be no limit to your love. There shall be no limit to your union. There shall be no limit to anything in your life. You are exploring and exploring deeply in the Lord. Glory to God. This message today. Oh, Jesus. This particular one. <laughs> This particular message is what it is. I am giving it the way it's supposed to be given. Hallelujah. Psalms of Solomon 4 verse 9. It says, this is what someone thinks about you. This is what you think about somebody. Or this is what you are saying to somebody. And this is what someone is saying to you. You, my darling, everything about you is beautiful. Hallelujah. Everything about your person is beautiful. And everything about you is beautiful to your person this season. And there is nothing at all wrong with you. Someone doesn't see fault when it comes to you. And you do not see any fault when it comes to somebody. Love is in the air, beloved. Hallelujah. Don't, don't tell me that oh, you, 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 nothing is going on in your life. If it is not happening, it is going to happen. Says a lot of hosts to whom it may concern. You better believe this word or you discard it. But I would rather, rather that you believe this word. Even though you perhaps some of you, some of you are not even seeing it or feeling what is going on in your spirit, God is saying that someone admires you, someone appreciates you. Your very own person, your, your very own, yes. Kingdom spouse sees you in a different light right now. That is what is happening. God is not mocked, beloved. Hallelujah. God is true. His word is true. And someone is about to say to that. Hallelujah. Verse 8, it says, Come with me from Lebanon, my bride. Hallelujah. Someone is the bride of Christ this moment. Someone is about to be engaged this moment. God has espoused you to one husband. 
God has espoused you to one wife. Hallelujah. Someone, there is an engagement in the spirit right now. There is this spiritual connection going on in the spirit. There is this spiritual union taking place. There is this spiritual understanding. There is this spiritual bonding in Christ taking place. Hallelujah. Come with me from Lebanon, from the top of Mount Amana, from the top of Mount Seni and Mount Hermon. You are going places with your person. Because of love, you are going to be going places. Because of love, things you, you're going to be surmounting mountains. Because your person is calling you in the spirit. Both of you are calling each other in the spirit. Perhaps some of you have not known your kingdom spouse yet, or you are still to meet your kingdom spouse, or you have already met your kingdom spouse. There's, there shall be no limits to where you can go to. There shall be no limit to what you can explore together. Hallelujah. There is love in the spirit. And someone sees you like having no fault. They see you, you are having no fault. So much is happening in the spirit. Hallelujah. To the glory of God, the Father Almighty. This is beautiful. This is great. I congratulate you if you are you know, experiencing this heavenly bliss, this heavenly relationship, this heavenly, you know, blessings. Hallelujah. May you continue to flourish again and again, over and over, over. You know, when you, when, when God gives you the right kind of person, beloved, there's this transformation that takes place inside of you. I see someone being transformed. I see someone looking more beautiful, more handsome, more refreshed and blossom in the spirit, in the physical, uh, mentally. Someone is connected. I don't know, like some, some of you are connected with someone mentally and it's feeding your soul. Some of you are connected with someone, uh, you know, emotionally, and it's feeding your soul. Some of you are connected with someone physically, and it's, it's feeding your soul. Whatever connection, connection that you have with somebody, all I'm seeing is that it is feeding your soul. It is feeding your soul. And the Lord said, it is time for you to nurture it. Please nurture it. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be having your own challenges, but your challenges shall come. And because of love, hallelujah, because that, because love covers multitude of sin, you are going to be surmounting challenges with someone that cares so much about you, with someone that you care so much about. God has given His word. Enjoy life this season. Feel the bliss. Don't limit yourself. Explore, explore, and enjoy in the Lord. In the Lord, not because God is the one that has given you that spirit. So both of you can connect together and enjoy this love that is present. Maybe to God, anything out of Christ is nothing. Everything out of the Spirit of God. Is nothing. You better remain in the spirit of God and enjoy that bliss in Jesus' mighty name. Faith is our vehicle and love is our strength. See you the next video.